In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you could take a vector image and map it around a shape, such as a sphere, using Adobe Illustrator. So I'll get started in a new document. The example I'll be working with in this demonstration is a world map. So I want to take this object and convert it to a symbol. So I'm going to open up my Symbols menu by going to Window and selecting Symbols. And to add this as a symbol, I'm just going to click and drag it into the Symbols menu. I'll click OK. And now we have that image added as a symbol, and we can close out of that menu. Now I'm going to create the shape that I'd like to map the image around. So for this demonstration, I'll be using a sphere. To create the sphere, let me move this out of the way. I'm going to grab the Circles tool, and I'm going to click and drag and hold my Shift key to create a perfectly round circle. And let me just make this a different color for now. And I'm going to grab my Scissor tool and cut this circle in half. So to do that, I'll grab the scissors, which are located over here in the toolbar under the Eraser tool. You can also access it by pressing the letter C on your keyboard. And for this, I'm just going to temporarily turn on Smart Guides. I'll go up to where it says View, and I will enable Smart Guides. And now I'm going to hover my cursor over the top node right here. And when it says anchor, I'll click on it to cut the node at that point. And I'll do the same thing down here to this bottom node or this anchor point. I'll click on that. And there we go. Now I'm going to turn off Smart Guides. And now I can grab my selection tool and take this half of the circle and press delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. So now I'm going to select this circle. And I'm going to go to Effect, 3D and Materials. And I'm going to choose 3D Classic, and I'm going to go with the Classic Revolve. Now from this menu, I want to click on where it says Map Art. We can use the Map Art menu to choose the symbol that we'd like to wrap around the sphere. So first, let's use Invisible Geometry to get rid of the sphere that we created. And I'm going to come up here to this drop down, and I'm going to look for where it says New Symbol. And now I can use the menu interface to change the location of the map on the object. And if I want, I can scale it up by holding Shift and clicking and dragging one of these nodes. And if you want to distort it, you can, you can do that as well by moving it up or down. And you can place the location wherever you'd like it to be. And once you're happy with the placement, you can click OK. And you can finalize these results by clicking OK again. And now we have taken this map image and mapped it around a sphere.